A Virginia landmark that played a role in the historic Supreme Court ruling overturning school segregation has received a new national designation. The 1951 student walkout led by Barbara Johns at the former Robert Russell Moton High School eventually became part of Brown versus Board of Education. The 68th anniversary of that ruling was yesterday. New here at 4, CBS 6's Cameron Thompson has more on that new honor for the former school and what it means. Out here at the Robert Russell Moton Museum in Farmville, you'll see that they are designated as a National Historical Landmark, but they now have a, another honor bestowed on them thanks to a new bipartisan legislation becoming an affiliate of the National Park Service for their role in the Brown v. Board of Education decision. The museum was once an all-black high school under the same name, and back in 1951, a then 16-year-old Barbara Rose Johns organized and led a student walkout to protest the overcrowding, poor conditions and to call for a new school. And so over 400 students crammed into this auditorium here on April 23rd, 1951. And they say that Johns went on stage and rapped on the lectern with her shoe to get their attention in order to explain what they were about to do. It all eventually turned into a lawsuit against Prince Edward County, and the case was folded into the Brown v. Board of Education case, which was out of Kansas. That site was already a part of NPS, but this new law makes Moton and four other places tied to the case affiliate sites. The museum's executive director says he's excited as it will help raise their national profile and open up new help and funding opportunities as they continue their mission. We think it's important that the legacy of the Brown decision um, you know, is something that is widely uh, continues to be talked about. Um, it's important that uh, we utilize those lessons uh, to help inform um, our present day um, environment, our present day circumstances. Um, so we're just proud to be caretakers of that story.